Carson will take the throw to get us restarted here. Oh, she great finds little turn. Katie O'Connor with oh. a shot and going near post this time. Alex Carpenter up to the task, if though. Can. Casey Yonks now with the ball for the Dukes. Seen her be a little bit more aggressive on the ball. She Casey. takes a long shot, and it oh. goes just over the crossbar. That, let me tell you, Matt, that was not a bad effort. Not at all. I would have, speaking of finding your teammates, Katie O'Connor now with the ball. Oh. She's got some space now. Maybe an opportunity for a shot. She does take the shot, but it goes into the grateful hands of Alex Carpenter once again. Good work there from Cop to just keep on, on the ball. Play. She will beat her mark. She has some space trying to play it in. It's still live. Still live again. Ball backside in the corner, and you will take a oh. shot, and that will go off the post and into the net. Oh, my wow. goodness. Bobbling around. Talk about an awkward goal. Haley Yao, I think, will be credited with it. I don't think it will count as an own goal. That was sheer determination, Matt. That's almost like the team willed it into the back of the net. Wow, that's Katie O'Connor with a fantastic turn, a touch from Italia Biondi, you see her beating her mark and not giving up on that ball, not sure if that was going out of bounds. Haley Yao, her first attempt, hitting off the post, luckily bouncing back, defense unable to clear, and it is yeah. playing 90 minutes with the soccer, and it's very hard Katie to... Katie O'Connor with a nice turn, maybe finding Facenda right there, a layoff to Facenda, Facenda with a shot, oh. and that might have been the nail in the coffin. Katie O'Connor and Facenda linking up for two one-twos back and forth. Fantastic play by the Dukes. You talk about them in two minutes left in the game, still kicking back and forth. That's just a perfect example of that, as we will get you the replay in a moment. A fantastic play right off of the throw-in. Facenda with her little chance playing into O'Connor. O'Connor taking on the defenders, just doing that classic draw and dump, leaving Carpenter flailing in the air. Yeah, and that's uh, that's the and second. Front as well. Yeah, and we will, in a few minutes' time, once we have our camera set, we will get... An interview with Okay, Coach we're here Alvine. with Coach Al Alvine. Huge 2 nothing win today over Davidson. Your thoughts on today's game? Uh, it was a hard-fought game. Uh, we knew Davidson was going to be very organized, very disciplined. Um, they're a team that likes to, to defend deep and then hit you on the break and counterattack. And uh, that's exactly what they did. And they were dangerous on the counterattack. Uh, I was proud of the team for the patience that we showed. Um, we didn't get frustrated. We kept, uh, we kept moving the ball. We kept at it. And at the end of the day, uh, the birthday girl, Haley Al, scored the game-winning goal on her birthday. So you can't, uh, uh, you can't begrudge her that. Tell me about the week Katie O'Connor's had. Yeah, you know, it's funny. She was our leading goal scorer last year. And she's our leading goal scorer again this year. But uh, um, she's really become more of a provider uh, in the last couple games. With uh, with four assists in uh, in two games, uh, but you know she draws a lot of attention and, and uh, she drags a lot of players with her, so uh, creates a lot of free space for other players. And, and I see, I think you're seeing uh, a lot of the other players on the team benefiting from the attention that she gets. Best start in uh, A10 history for the Dukes, 4-0. Everybody's looking up at you guys right now. Yeah, it's a strange place for us to be in. It's something that we're not used to, but. Uh, but we're taking it one game at a time, and uh, we'll enjoy this today. And uh, tomorrow we start getting ready for a, a very difficult game at George Mason on Thursday. So, right, Congratulations. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you to Coach Alvine and the Duquesne Dukes. A 2-0 victory here on Arthur J. Rooney Field here on...